Now let's look at the RT block diagram. Here you'll see the components in the RTs as a block diagram. The accelerometers and angular rate sensors are processed by a high speed digital signal processor DSP to remove errors caused by the vibrations. Either one or two GPS cards can be fitted into the RT. The RT includes survey grade GPS cards with very accurate velocity information. This is essential for providing good connections for the inertial sensors. The second GPS card is used to improve the heading. The navigation computer receives the data from the IMU and the GPS receivers. The navigation computer processes the data from the inertial sensors to give the outputs, for example, position and velocity. It also runs the Kalman filter, which provides corrections to the outputs, for example, errors. The radio modem is used on the higher accuracy products to give differential corrections to the GPS cards. The RT beacon can also provide differential corrections. Now let's look at the RT inertial measurement unit. In the inertial measurement unit, the accelerometers and angular rate sensors have signal conditioning applied. Their outputs are sampled by a 16-bit ADC and a 2.5 Hz per channel. The DSP performs further processing of the data, including performing coning and sculling motion compensation. The DSP also integrates the outputs, giving change in channel and changing velocity outputs rather than acceleration and angular rates. The timing of the ADC is controlled by the DSP. The DSP runs on a phase lock loop that synchronizes the ADC and the GPS time. This ensures that the RT samples to exactly 100 Hz and that the measurements from the RT are aligned to the GPS time. 